Hey everybody, happy Monday. I am just standing in my kitchen getting t ready to make a bit. Hey everybody, happy Monday. I'm just coming to you from the kitchen today. I'm about to make the ambrosia salad for Isaiah. I didn't get to make it last night. It was a long day um, full of fun and happiness and it was a beautiful day. So I actually hit the hay early last night and got a good night's sleep. Today got up, went to work, got Isaiah off to work this afternoon. Richie's still at work, I came home, took care of the house. I'm gonna whip this together and I might even have time for a craft this evening. So I'm gonna get this started. And like I already told you, it's really, it's just simple. I actually, I think it was my Nana Millie that when I was growing up, made it one time, if I can even remember if that was how it went. I think it was her that made it. And she actually used the marshmallows that are fruit flavored. I have never tried it with the fruit, fruit um, flavored marshmallows because I just kind of like the plain ones. I'm sure it tastes just as good. And I know that the ingredients usually call for the colored, um, I think that they're fruit flavored marshmallows. I've never really paid attention to the package, but they have, you know, all the pastel colors in there. I just normally get the white mini marshmallows. Isaiah likes those. I did pick up the light whipped topping. Um, at my local grocery store and I didn't I forgot the pecans I forgot those again Isaiah doesn't really care anyways he doesn't really like them in there a lot of the times so it doesn't even matter it's fine I'll make it without it today and then I got the sugar-free pudding packets of vanilla pudding I may or may not put in all eight depends on how well coated the cake um, crumbs are from trying and attempting to make those cake pops the other night. I don't know if anybody watched that video, but it's the what not to do video of the cake pops. Seriously. It was the first time I ever tried them. I was supposed to have a machine that made them. I opened the machine the first time since I've had it for years. I got it at a thrift store years ago. It's a machine that never came out of the box. When I opened it, the cord looked a little a little weird. I didn't dare to attempt it, so I just hand rolled the cake pops and um, they fell into the abyss. So they came out much differently. They weren't cake pops at the end of it, but they tasted phenomenal. I did have a bite of one, but Isaiah pretty much ate. Um, I think he ate three that night and then he had a few the next day. He had one today. Richie had two and then they were gone. So they got rid of those and this is the leftover cooked cake that I crumbled up for the cake pops that night that I wanted to do something else with because I am not attempting the cake pops again just I, I'd rather make a cupcake that's fine with me I like to decorate cupcakes and even that I don't do with any um fancy tips or anything like that even though I do have all of those little gadgets that normally frost a cupcake. I just don't, I, I use a spoon and I kind of swirl it. You'll have to see it someday. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to make that video, but anyhow, I got the Jello brand of the pistachio um, pudding mix, which we'll just be using the powder. And I got a can of the crushed pineapples. Um, the whole can's going to go in juice and all. So I'm just going it, to, it's, it's really, it's so simple, but the aftermath is like, it's really light and really, really, it's just a light dessert. And it's nice um, going down. Pineapples are really good, uh, refreshing, summery, sweet treats so we eat a lot of things with pineapples in it and um so we like that but a lot of people put the mandarin oranges in it some people put fruit cocktail in it a lot of people put the fruit cocktail in it and um i have done all three different ones and isaiah likes all of them 
but he prefers the one with the pineapple chunks in it. So that's what I'm gonna make tonight. And you kind of just whip it all together. I save the pudding cups even after I clean them out because the boys will come home and they'll scrape them and they'll eat down the sides and stuff that were left over. This is the sugar-free vanilla pudding. So I just do it the lazy way, guys, really. I get the pudding cups and empty it. I could just, you know, get make pudding on my own, but why do all that extra work when you can just pop the lid off and spoon it in and be done with it? So I'm just going to get this stuff in there. I hope everybody's having a good Monday. I hope all the mothers and grandmothers and aunts and godmothers and everybody else that has a mother role in somebody's life had a good day yesterday. Hopefully everybody got outside. It was absolutely beautiful out. The ride down to Gloucester was absolutely stunning. I didn't put the full details, obviously, of the turkey attack in the video because when we stumbled upon it, um, I was laughing too hard to see the scene that I saw. There were so many people out yesterday walking, running, and um, when we came upon it, it was attacking the police cruiser. But what ended up happening was once the police cruiser got away, then the turkey turned, and I think I put in a short little blip of a video in there of the turkey cro crossing back over to the other side of the street. And I don't know if you noticed, because it kind of went fast in the video, but the people were running, running from the turkey, um, coming after them. But it did happen to corner one guy against a fence, um, against a fence that was walking on the sidewalk on the main road. And it cornered the guy into the fence. And then all of a sudden, the guy went into full-blown karate kid mode. He put his arms up like this, extended his foot, put his foot in the turkey's face so that the turkey would stop running at him and pecking him. And he held his foot up. That guy had really good balance. He held his foot up for a good while and kept the turkey away from him until he could hop backwards and um, get a little, a little distance between him and the tom turkey. While his feathers were out, like that turkey was ready to go at any given moment. So um, it was hilarious, but the guy did some ninja moves and the turkey, kind of uh, got pushed back a little bit and then the guy turned and bolted. But it, it was funny, it was so funny. I wished that I had been quick enough to grab the phone and like get everything on film. It was hilarious. So anyways, the crumble up cake, I just put six puddings in for now. We'll see how wet, you know, the um, cake mix gets. And now I'm just opening the pistachio packet pudding packet from the Jell-O brand and I'm gonna put that on the pudding that I put in and then I mean I could start stirring it but I usually just pop everything in there and then stir it at the end. I'm gonna open up the pineapples. Uh, so anyhow um, and I also I didn't I don't know if anybody noticed the gazebo in the video that is where Richie and I were supposed to get married um, on May 23rd, was in that gazebo. And then down the street, kind of around the corner a little bit, was the reception hall that we were supposed to have the reception at. So, you know, we'll plan it again. We are going to be getting married regardless um ahead of time and then we'll have the big wedding when everybody can be there all together and we'll renew our vows and then we'll party so that's the plan for that but 
That area is absolutely beautiful. It's really easy to get to. It takes me about maybe 35 to 40 minutes to get down that way from where I live. And um, that's a beach that we prefer. The gazebo um, is in the center of Gloucester. And then, and then um, Rockport is in the other direction. And that was old granite pier that we sat at and had cupcakes and had a little lunch, my mom and I. Richie and I did the ride in the morning as my gift. I just love to ride. Most of the time in my life, when we had a free day, especially Sunday drives, we would all load up in the car and we would go for rides. We would go up for rides to the mountain, to the ocean. And so rides are really big for us. When we're wanting to spend family time, generally that's what we do is we just take long car rides, Sunday driving. That's what we like. So those are the areas that we tend to go to. So cake mix, the pudding, the pistachio packet, the can of crushed pineapple, and now I'm gonna sprinkle some marshmallow in there and then mix that up and then sprinkle some on the top. And then they'll, I'm gonna chill it in the, ooh, oh, oh snap, oh snap. That was a big chunk. I didn't mean for all that to go in there, but. It'll be fine. So then I'll put it in the fridge for a few hours and by the time they come home and we have dinner, uh, it'll be probably like another five hours or so, five, five and a half hours. They'll come home, we'll have dinner. This will be nice and cold. The pineapple is refreshing after we eat and um, just a little quick sweet treat. The pecans in it do give it a good bite, um, but it's okay. There's the marshmallows in it. Let me just wash my hands really quick. I am doing, um, I, I'm really trying to get away from like pasta and carbs and stuff, but I am gonna probably just make a little pasta and sauce tonight. And he made pork chops last night, probably cut those up, put them in the sauce. And, um, I just won't eat the pasta. I'll have the sauce and the pork chops and probably some vegetables on the side. And then this afterwards. Mondays are hard. We come home from getting into the swing of the day and everybody is really tired and just ready to relax. So that's it. It's really, you don't really have to even think about it. And sometimes when I don't even cook the cake um, and crumble it up, I just get those little loaves. I can't remember if they're Entenmann's brand or not, but um, you get those little pound cake rolls and you cut them, make little cubes out of them, throw them in if you don't want to bake a pound cake or bake a cake and crumble it. And then just put all this stuff around it, throw in pecans, use the colored marshmallow, mini marshmallows, it, really whatever you want. You can look up so many different variations on here. Um to get an idea of what you want it to taste like. And that's Isaiah's favorite. So I just wanted to say hi really quick. I hope everybody's having a good day and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I don't know why I said bye. I didn't even put the whip, the whipped uh, topping in. This is Monday guys. I, you know, I can't, I can't be Martha Stewart on Mondays. I don't even know why I try. My brain is still on weekend mode. I would rather right now be planning a ride up the coast, which I'm probably going to do next weekend when we go for a ride. I am going to video the whole ride that we usually do. Um, 
up to, I'm just going to cut it in half and put half of the whipped cream in. Uh, but I'm going to, I'll record us going all through the beach area, all the way up to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, through um, Hampton, New Hampshire, uh, starting out actually in Salisbury, all through um, Seabrook, Hampton, Rye, you know, all the way up to Portsmouth and continuing on by the ocean. It's a beautiful ride. I've done it my whole entire life. It's one of the highlights of my week. I tend to do that ride. Normally, you know, we stop and we get out and we find sand dollars and seashells and we see the ocean and take walks and stuff. But where the whole beach is, is shut down for a period of time and has been for the last couple of months, we just take the ride and, and it's just refreshing to roll down the windows a little bit, smell the ocean. I wish I had smell a vision so that you could smell how strong it is sometimes, especially early in the morning when the ocean is all stirring up and waking up for the day. Um, it's a great, it's a great smell. So I will record that sometime if anybody wants to see the ocean. I have a lot of friends that have moved to the other side of the country that grew up here. I have friends that live down south that haven't been up here for years and that miss home. So I'm kind of doing it also for their benefit to see the beauty that um, still is up here waiting for them to come back to. So that's it. It's in. I put the whipped cream in. I'm happy to jump back on and say hi to you guys. If anybody wants to try it. Oh, and you can also use vanilla wafer. Sometimes it's fun to, and I've done this too, you line um, like a, a Pyrex dish with vanilla wafers. You pile all those ingredients on top of it. And then once it's all in there and mixed in and you load it on top of the vanilla wafers, then you cover it with vanilla wafers and scoop it out and the vanilla wafers taste really good. So any way you want to try it, it's going to taste good no matter what if you um, like this type of dessert. So enjoy if you try it. Bye.